Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode here on Dangerous African Confessions HD. In this episode, we bring to you the continuation of the confession of the man who after engaging in money ritual, something bad happened to both his wife and senior brother. He was telling us in the previous episode of what he went through during his time at the place where he had gone for the rituals to be done. Let us all go into this confession in order to know what happened after he said he had his siblings' names written with the blood on a white handkerchief. But then, don't forget to subscribe if this is your first time, like and share this video so others can listen to it as well. And also hit the notification bell, so you will be notified anytime we upload videos of this nature. The day came when we were made to sacrifice any animal of our choice. The animals are there and you will point to the one that you would love to use for your sacrifice to the gods or Aichi god that will be giving you the money. Anyone that you will print, they will tell you the price for you to note down. If you have the money fine, if if you don't, you will be allowed to finish with the ritual and time will be given to you to take the money back or face the wrath of the gods. So funny enough, all of us chose the sheep for our sacrifices. When the life of the sheep is taken, the blood is collected and you are made to write the names of your loved ones with the blood of the animal on a very pure white handkerchief that they will provide for you. So I wrote the name of my my siblings. Of course they are the only people that are in my life as people that I love. For some strange reason which I myself don't know, I wanted to write Mary's name too, but since at this time she was just someone who was close, I didn't think to write her name too. So when after we had finished with the names and not knowing what the names were for, we were made to bury the names on the handkerchief together with the blood that was in the calabash that was used to collect them. Now after everything, and the last day came where we were made to hold on to these things that were given to us to speak for the last on them. After speaking on to these things, we were made to take the things into this room where certain inanimate drawings were all over the buildings of the room. There was only a circle with a white mark on the ground and some piece of stone in the middle of that circle. When you finish saying G whatever you were asked to say, you then will place the things in your hand on the stone and then leave the room facing the circle and coming out with your back. Yes, I forgot to say that when you are going in, you will go with your back too and then when after you are done with whatever you will say, then you will turn and drop the thing in your hand on the stone. So after I had finished with mine, the man asked one of the servants to come and call me. When I went to him, he told me these things that I am going to tell you. The man told me point blank that, there was no need to go through with whatever I went through. So I asked him why then did he allow me to go through with it. He then told me that, if I can recall, when we got there the first time, he called onto the two other guys and never called me. And he tried all his best to not involve me into any of the things that he wanted to do for the guys. But he saw what I was doing and saying. That was when he called me and asked me if I was sure and was willing to go through with it. So when I told him I was ever ready to undergo anything he would put before me, that was why he too did it. But then, he wanted to tell me that no matter what happened, I would have still gotten money regardless of whether I did anything or not. But once I have gone through with the rituals and everything, I should make sure that, I will forever uphold any rules and laws that will be given out to me, so that I don't cause anything harm upon myself. He told me that he likes me and wouldn't want me to make any mistakes. That is why he had called me to tell me to be so mindful of the things that will be given to me as laws to follow. Because at this point, that was the only thing left for us and we will be through with all that we had gone there to do. So that evening, each and every one of us got his own set of laws to follow. I was never to allow any woman who is in her menstrual period to have anything to do with me or give me anything to eat. Because if it happened so, the God that was responsible for my money had married me and would take it as the woman wants to do evil to its husband. So the spirit will haunt her till she is no more. Again, I myself I am not supposed to do anything with any woman on the day that I was born and the day that the spirit will choose as its sacred day. I am a Tuesday born and the spirit also choose Friday as its day for me to be away from any immorality plus the, the day I was born. The man told me that, it was always a higher chance of people forgetting the laws that is why he called me and stressed it to me. Again with the little box that was given to each of us had a small snake in it. And the more you feed the snake with rituals, the more your money will come. And what rituals was that? 
it was for us to get the snake blood in its box the first Friday of every month. Then again, no human being was allowed to have a look at the snake aside from myself. So it was right for me to find a perfect place and hide the snake's box so that no one would find it. At first, I was the only one who had access to this snake because one of the guys that we met in prison had given me a small room where I was sleeping. And this was where I was until eventually I moved out after my first money came. After this I moved to my own place and we made sure that, the three of us will buy our houses on the same lane so that we can check up on each other and make sure that we keep everything that we were told. It was after this that I made sure that I would get married to be my wife. And with the help of her madam, she agreed to settle down with me. There was no way I was going to reveal my secret to her even after we got married. And for my success to be real, one of the guys pretended to come from a place where they actually had money and then hide people to any his family members. And they acted as though they were giving the three of us some business to run. And it made our money to be more real at least in the face of others. So Mary and I got married and I went and brought my siblings to the city for us to all live harmony in the city. My senior brother made sure everything was well taken care of as far as business that he was handling in the family's name. My sister too, she enrolled in school and we were living happily. Even though my senior brother was not living inside my house, I had gotten him an apartment in the same area so he was almost like living in our house. But my sister because of house chores and all that, my wife asked her to stay with us so she can help us with things in the house. This is because Mary had said she didn't want any house help or anything of that matter. She wanted just us. And so she was okay for my sister to be in the house as her own younger sister who will help her with things on the house. At the end of the day, we were living in this nice atmosphere and the love was all over. But then, it all happened when I received a phone call on Ada from the police that, my brother had taken my wife's life in our house. So I rushed to the police station just like I was told, and they said she has been taken to the hospital. I got to the hospital with the police and my wife was on the floor of the cold room. What had happened to my wife? My brother was taken to police custody and so I ran back to where he was kept to try and find out what happened. The whole thing is that, my wife had this niece who had come to visit us and was also in house. And whilst I was away, my brother had gone to visit them. It was at the time that he had gone there that this whole incident happened. You remember I told you that, I was warned never to allow anyone see the snake in the box. Because the person that see the snake was at vulnerable and would be dealt with by the spirit of the snake. And this snake bites in the realm of the spirit, and so, when this whole thing happened, I was told or it was revealed that, my wife had gone to the secret room and had opened the snake box. Which is why the spirit got onto her like that. And my brother happened to be in the house whilst she went to the room. So when she came out and she had that encounter, my brother had gotten a hold of her and I don't know if he was trying to help her or something. So her niece came and saw it like my brother had done something to my wife. This whole thing, I understand it now, because when the devil wants to take something to hit you badly, it will touch something in a way that will be shocking to you. Because how and why the girl called police on my brother was something strange and how my brother even decided to go there to my house at that time, knowing very well that I was not there beat my mind. You to push this whole thing forward, my brother was sentenced because the police said that they wouldn't allow me to take the case home. It was a case that they were interested in it. My brother got his sentence and oh remember three months into his sentence, I was called to inform that he has taken his own life in the cells. My attempt to make money and change our conditions has or did resulted in me losing two people that were so dear to me. I pray that their souls will forgive me and when I finally get the chance to meet them one day, hopefully we all will be a happy family again. Don't forget to please subscribe, share and like our videos. Kindly hit the notification bell so you will be the first to get notification to our videos when we upload. Indeed we'll hammer on this statement that I always say. Which is the fact that, when you are too desperate to make it in life, you will miss the mark, which will make you take certain decisions that will later come be a kid to hurt you. Listening to our brother, he had this burning desire in him from the word go, which I will say is good. But if you don't learn how to control that desire, it will lead you to do things that on the face value, you might not see anything wrong with it. 
until it starts to hurt you yourself and sometimes your whole family. He talked about the fact that he went to jail together with other two people for crimes they have no idea of. And instead of the prison system to be a place of correction, it rather serves as a place of destruction. He is not the only person who has come out of this prison system and is saying similar things about our prison systems. You see, at this point with what we do, I do have to say to you our listeners and subscribers to be very honest and careful with the kind of people you associate with. If you listen to him, he is going about looking for money through this means because of the kind of people he later associated himself with. Please let us wake up and know that the devil is right inside anyone that comes close with. He can use anything and anyone to get to us. It doesn't matter if he or she is a pastor, doctor, teacher or any other person. He can even use your own family members to make you miss your mark. I always find things strange as to how far a person is willing to go just because of money and fame. Please don't let your current situation pushes you into the wrong hands. I am begging you, I know what I am talking about. Please let us hear your thoughts on the comment section. I had so much to talk about, but I will restrain myself from talking. I don't know how to even put what I feel right now access to you. Like I always say, these are not just stories for story's sake. They are meant for us not to make these mistakes our brothers and sisters are making. That's why we share these stories with you. Just like we always do in this house, please let us also hear from you our beautiful family members. Let's listen to your views and concerns and comments in the comment section. Yes just as we are here to share with ourselves what is going on out there, we do bring these conversations with you our family members to help their innocent brothers and sisters to realize what is happening out there that they do not have any idea about. So that they can make their own decisions going forward in their day-to-day -day activities. I just hope that we honestly take the important lessons from these stories to better our lives and decisions. Stay blessed and be safe. Thanks for being a part of this growing family. Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. And if you are new here, please subscribe, like and share.